Good evening. Um, my name is Dr. Madwako, and um, this is coming probably at around uh, 11 p.m. And uh, I'm sure everybody will be at home by now. I'm equally at home, and uh, just decided to do this post after I just uh, spoke with my wife and uh, we got talking about some of the challenges that come in every day on our site and it has always been a pleasure to solve those challenges one after the other and today this evening i would love to use those challenges as focal points to reach out to every other person wherever you are in the world and you are having similar challenges so that you could uh, draw inferences from them learn as much as you can and get those solutions to those very embarrassing problems in the bedroom however if there's any aspect of those challenges which you are currently experiencing that i don't talk about uh, in the brief moment we're going to have now do well to send me a mail you can send me a mail via dr madwako at lastlongerng.com it's actually one word dr madwako at lastlongerng.com and it will be my pleasure to always always respond to you let's dive in straight away i uh, will take the first the first um comments or uh, query someone sent across i'll definitely not be mentioning names uh, so that um, you protect the uh, privacy of those individuals and you equally get to learn from their experience i'll actually read out exactly the way it has been sent in i'm actually reading from from my phone um, it says dear dr madwako thanks for your prompt response however it was actually sent to the email I'm actually doing this for this new boyfriend of mine. I happen to have just met this guy. He seems nice from the little I know of him. He's equally very tall, say about uh, seven feet tall with a broad shoulder. At first sight, he has the stature every woman would like in a man. But when we made out, I noticed his penis is just as small as that of a newborn. I must confess, I have never imagined the penis of a grown man that small not sure it's up to one feet even he was so shy that he wouldn't even let me touch or see it i think i like him i would like to help him to see if there's any help he can get to at least increase the size so that he can have a better and more confident sex life now this is a lady who is trying to make all attempts possible to make sure she gets her new boyfriend to increase his penal size now you hear that across board i want to have my penis size increased i want to have uh, a bigger uh, manhood i want to increase in length i want to increase in depth and i always ask and you've always asked too is it possible to get your manhood increased the answer is yes a y e and an s it is very possible to have your manhood increased let's look at it from another analogy is it possible to have your biceps increased what do you mean by biceps i'm referring to the muscles of the arm that is biceps yes it is possible how is it possible when you see a man who probably lifts weights he can't have a biceps that is small he will always have an arm that is attuned and well developed with a lot of stamina because he has put that part of the body to test so why would you feel that that other part of the body which is your manhood is not amenable to increase it is still made up of the same kind of tissue which is muscle now a different kind of muscle, smooth muscle. The penis is essentially a conglomeration of smooth muscles and blood vessels. Blood vessels engorge, they get filled up with blood, and that's why when you have an erection, you see 
those blood vessels, they become bigger, they run on top of the penis. The smooth muscle supports these blood vessels and that's why you have a strong, hard erection. If you fail to develop these smooth muscles, there is no way you would compete in terms of erection with some other person who develops this. So we've established one, it is very possible to increase your penis size. It is very possible to increase your penis girth. And when I mean girth, I mean width now. It is very possible to get a lot more stamina in those smooth muscles of the penis. And that can be done through penis exercise. Now the other million dollar question is how can you get to do penis exercise? For some persons, they regard penis exercise to be equivalent, to be synonymous with the uh, frequency of sexual intercourse. Unfortunately, that is not the case. The frequency of sexual intercourse has no business to do with uh, penis increase because in sexual intercourse, you are having a to and fro movement. What I mean by to and fro movement, it's actually you are having movement unidirectional. That is one direction. You are moving in and you are moving out. And for you to have any uh, exercise of any striated muscle fibers, you have to have those muscle fibers exercised in all planes. So that shows you that if you increase your frequency of sexual episodes or sexual encounter, it doesn't necessarily translate to an increase in penis size or penis length. So what would give you that penis exercise? You can get penis exercise going by using the penis tools. There are tools that could help you increase your penis size by helping you increase penis exercise. Now these tools, you can use them in the morning, you can use them in the evening, you can use them every other day, you can incorporate it as part and parcel of your lifestyle, the same way you go for a workout, two minutes in the morning or two minutes in the evening, you can use these tools to help you get your penis back on track, increase the penis size, increase the penis girth, and gain self-confidence. Now for these tools, there are several brands. Most brands are the ones that are handheld, which you could use and increase the pressure as you wish. Some others are rechargeable, where you use a, a USB to recharge it. And some others are automatic, where you don't need to do anything. They recharge themselves and they help you increase the length and girth of those smooth muzzles. For the penis tools, you can always get in touch with us wherever you are in the country. We will send those tools across to you and you can uh, see our delivery team when they come to your area. However, some persons may complain that their uh, manhood is too small to get into those penis tools. These tools are designed in such a way that it can accommodate all sizes of penis as long as you wish to increase your penis size because the rings are of different sizes and can fit into any size whatever size you belong to as long as you wish to increase your penis size and as long as you wish to increase your penis stamina smooth muscle stamina and girth let's move on to the next um, comments some other person made um this is another person and he made mention of um hello doctor i do experience quick ejaculation <clears throat> and i need your advice now quick ejaculation um it can be defined uh, simplistically uh, this way if your ejaculation comes before your partner has received sexual satisfaction that is quick ejaculation relative to your partner what is the essence of sexual intercourse the essence of any sexual intercourse is to help both partners achieve the highest level of ecstasy the highest level of satisfaction 
and most times most persons have sex at night i'm at home now and my wife is upstairs most times most persons have sex in the night why because most people have retired from the day's jobs day's activities and they're at home resting so sex is probably seen as an exhilarating uh, episode is probably seen as uh, something to look forward to so if you cut short that ecstasy for your partner you're actually doing your partner a great disservice and that is where you talk about quick ejaculation what are the things that could cause quick ejaculation there are several things that could cause quick ejaculation number one is masturbation if you masturbate and you complain about quick ejaculation the first thing you should do is to stop quick ejaculation to stop sorry to stop masturbation for you to get to stop masturbation i know it may not be easy there are steps that we could help you do uh, you could send us a mail uh, and we'll help you stop masturbation that is number one key to achieving victory over quick ejaculation However, if you don't engage in masturbation, there are other causes of quick ejaculation. Number two, it could be psychological, in which case you have performance anxiety. There is this stress, there is this um, unusual, uh, uh, uncanny abilities that you wish to have. You see porn artists and you see the way they last as long as they wish and you want to be like them but you forget that it's a stepwise approach and when you probably come in contact with a woman who you are under pressure to perform at such instances psychology plays a very big role in quick ejaculation there are steps which you can take to make sure you come when your partner is about coming and to make sure you satisfy your partner uh, as it were some of these steps on our website some of them include even your diets you could uh, must have noticed that i'm sipping on uh, some uh, red wine which contains phytates which contains uh, xanthines those are essential ingredients in opening up your vessels for good erection essential ingredients in helping you last longer as a rule you should do away with saturated fats, do away with cholesterol laden foods, do away with the, the so called fast foods, have more of plant protein. These are the things that encourage you in terms of erection, in terms of lasting as long as you wish. Yes, they are the products that help you cure quick ejaculation, but deals must be done in consonance with using the products you can't just be using the products and you are still living your life with the so-called saturated fats uh, with masturbation and you expect to cure quick ejaculation no the products we talk about are the products that could help you cure quick ejaculation by reducing the sensation which is domiciled at the tip of your penis which most times you can't control and that leads you to quick ejaculation an example of that is the stone 100 which helps you cure quick ejaculation by helping you last as long as you wish helping you solve the problems of your partner in terms of solving her problems of not being able to come because by the time you stay hard enough that's when you help her come so that is a multifaceted approach to helping you solve a, a quick ejaculation let's look at what another person has to offer um, the he's still t another person is still talking about uh, quick ejaculation um, okay uh, another one talks about uh, staphylococcus and uh, having an infection most persons send us mails send me mails comment on our websites talking about uh, they went for a laboratory investigation and uh, it was said uh, they have staphylococcus and uh, they've not been performing well i have to make this clarification staphylococcus 
is a commensal. When I mean a commensal, I'm referring to there are organisms you find on your skin. An example of that is Staphylococcus. Now, on the skin, they live there commensally. They cause no problems to us. They are there on their own. Anytime you take a swap off your skin and culture that, you will always see them. When we are worried is when you have an overgrowth of those organisms. And an overgrowth of those organisms can only come when you are immunocompromised. What we mean by being immunocompromised, there are things suppressing your immunity. That is when you can have an overgrowth of those organisms. So, likewise, when you have an overgrowth of those organisms, whether it's on the skin, whether it's on the uh, in the penna urethra, that is the orifice where you need from, you will definitely equally have some symptoms which will accompany that overgrowth. What are those symptoms? You could have problems with urination. When you are urinating, you feel some pains. Uh, when you are making love, you feel some pains. Um, you feel a burning sensation around your the lower abdomen. Those are symptoms that you may have a urinary tract infection. Once that urinary tract infection is taken care of, those symptoms should equally disappear. However, when you talk about performance and you talk about uh, infection, what infection can do is in terms of your fertility, your ability to impregnate a woman. Infection most times doesn't have any effect on coming too early, coming too fast, or how much of erection you have, except when it is quite advanced. So for everybody that sends in complaints about infection, I always tell them and always uh, ask them, number one thing is to confirm via laboratory analysis whether you actually have an infection or not. After we've done that, secondly, if you have infections, we can treat that. If you don't have infections, then we'll look for some other causes of either your quick ejaculation or uh, not lasting long enough, or probably your weak erection. Um, it's about after 11, it, the night is fast spent. Before I leave you, I must still hammer on diet. Your diet is very key to lasting longer. Your lifestyle is very key to weak erection. And if you are diabetic, if you are hypertensive, that is another cause of penile or weak erection and weak ejaculation. Those twin diseases must be managed carefully. When you are able to manage them and bring them under control, then penis exercises, the natural uh, tabs for erection will be able to take full effect on you. If I didn't answer any of your questions, or you have anyone probably that has just emerged, send me a mail, drmadwako at lastlongerng.com, and I will be there to respond to your questions, respond to your queries, and will always, always help you last as long as you wish. It's been my pleasure speaking with you. My name remains Dr. Madwako, and I will always be with you on this channel. Thank you, and God bless you.